Hi, it's Darnell with D Grill. I want to go through the Green Mountain Grills Android app with you. This is version 2.3.8 of the Green Mountain Grills app. And this is for managing and controlling your grill. It's a super sweet. You have to have a Green Mountain Grill with Wi-Fi, obviously, for this to work. Basically, when you first go into the, the app, you have to click the connect button that's in the upper left corner of the screen to connect to the grill. When you first start using your grill, when you first purchase it, you have to turn your grill on and connect to the Wi-Fi connection that the grill makes. The grill produces its own Wi-Fi connection when you first turn it on, and you will connect to that Wi-Fi connection on your phone, and then that taps you into the grill directly. And once you connect to that Wi-Fi connection, you're asked for a password. You look at the serial number that will be on the back of your grill, and enter that serial number. That's the um, password to get into the Wi-Fi connection that the grill makes. After you do that, then you are able to uh, change it over into Wi-Fi mode. I'm going to show you how to do that now. You swipe to the left once, swipe to the left again, and then you see it says server mode in the uh, basically the second icon up from the bottom, or third icon up from the bottom says server mode. Since I'm already in Wi-Fi mode, that's why mine says server mode, but for you who are connecting directly to the grill, that icon that says server mode would say Wi-Fi mode. You click on Wi-Fi mode, and it brings up a list of Wi-Fi connections for you to connect to, and it brings them up in order of the uh, strength. The first connection it's going to show is the grill itself, so you'll have to click off of that. Well, click on that, and when you click on that grill connection inside of the app, for that Wi-Fi connection, it's going to make a drop down showing you all the other Wi-Fi connections available. You click on your Wi-Fi connection and you have to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection you're connecting to when you first get the grill doesn't have any special characters in the Wi-Fi name or password, special characters or anything other than letters and numbers and keyboard. This is because the old firmware in the grill does not recognize special characters properly. So your first connection you'll have to make sure that you're connecting using a Wi-Fi connection with no special characters in name or password. If your Wi-Fi router at home has special characters in the name or password, I'd recommend that you get a second phone to um, set up a Wi-Fi hotspot to so the grill can connect to that and make sure there's no special characters in that. And then you can go through the process of updating the firmware because once you get connected in Wi-Fi mode, it'll look like this and you'll see the update grill icon and you can click the update grill icon to update your firmware. The latest firmware at this point is 6.5 but as of firmware 6.0 they had already fixed the special character issue so you have to get your firmware updated and after that then you can connect it to any uh, Wi-Fi connection that has special characters no problem and I'm connected at my home Wi-Fi no issues at this point. But uh, basically just going through the app you see the grill temperature, and you can uh, basically, you could set a temp, I could uh, basically tap on the temperature, well, hold on, I need to, I'd have to power on the grill actually to start the temperature setting, so I'm just going to power it on for the sake of this demo, so I'm going to click the power icon in the upper left, so what I like to turn the grill on, I guess I confirm I've turned the grill on. So I'm turning the, I just turn the grill on. It automatically starts up to 150 degrees. Now, I basically, you know, when you're warming it up, you might want to just go up to 150 and then move on from there. But if you want to set it to a higher temp, you <clears throat> click on the 150 degrees that's in green, and then you see this thing that says uh, set temperature, and you can slide it up, slide it down. You can also tap on the actual 150. This is what I like to do tap on that 150 and you can just uh, let's just say 500 and confirm and it does it you know now it's set to 500 um, food temp you can set a food temp if you have you know, your food probe in and then you can just basically same thing slide up slide down tap on the number enter a new number if you want to and so the food 
probe. Uh, I don't have it in right now, but uh, basically it says, uh, I don't know why it says target temperature reached. It's uh, There's not even a probe in there. If there was a probe in there, it would do it right. When there's a probe in there, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make any mistake or anything. But basically, when it gets to 200, the app tells you that it's at 200 degrees and that you... Um, your food is done and it's worked perfectly for me. I'm going to turn the grill off. Harley didn't want to start burning pellets right now. But uh, well, before I turn it off, I want to show you the timers. You have this timer uh, icon in the upper right. When I click that, there's timers. I can uh, basically set a timer. So I click on set and I can set the duration of the timer. Let's say I just made a 24 hour timer. I'm just going to be doing 24 hour smoke <laughs> and then uh, I could hit the start right next to the 24 hours that start like play icon and it starts or I could pause now on this other one up here I can do I can set that if I click the one that's above the 24 hours it's kind of like a countdown stopwatch so the one that's on top of the two clock icons, the one on top is a stopwatch, the one at the bottom is a timer. So, you know, if you want to do like a stopwatch counting up, or you want to do a timer counting down, you can do either way. I'm going to turn the grill off now, so that I don't uh, continue burning through my pellets. Now that I'm turning my grill off, it goes through uh, fan mode, it already started burning some pellets there. So, um, when it goes into fan mode, it's going to basically start uh, cleaning itself out and uh, doing its shutdown sequence. And I'm doing all this right now through Wi-Fi mode. All these controls I'm doing are through the Wi-Fi connection of my home Wi-Fi router. This would work exactly the same if I were doing a direct point-to-point -point Wi-Fi connection directly to the grill's Wi-Fi connection. So. Uh, going to hit the reset on the timer well I'm going to turn the timers off kind of set duration to zero I want to get the timer shut off so there's no more timer now I'm going to uh, swipe to the left oh actually I forgot flashlight the flashlight icon up here in the upper right you click on flashlight it basically turns your phone's light on that's uh the Green Mountain Grill's light is your phone's flashlight. <laughs> so I'd recommend at nighttime, um, if you need to have a light at nighttime, you're going to have to have some secondary lighting. I use the light from my, uh, that I use for my cameras for filming YouTube videos. I use those bright lights to get light to the grill. Let's go to the swipe to the left. Swipe to the left, I'm under profiles. Profiles, I can basically set up different types of cooks um, there are some built in the one for whole chicken I made myself and I demonstrated how to do that in my two chickens cook but I'm going to click on create a profile and I can give a profile name I'll give it test T E S T and then I want to add a step you could do a time thing where you do a time and that's actually probably going to be better when you're just starting up than uh, trying to set the food to a certain temp so if you click on time you could say let's say I want to smoke some food for like a couple hours so I do two time 150 I mean temp 150 so basically what's gonna do here is gonna at 150 degrees smoke the food for an hour if you do temp it's gonna smoke the food at 150 till the food is a hundred degrees in temp but if you want to just smoke it for a certain amount of time then you do time and it's gonna warm up to 150 and do a duration of two hours so it's going to automatically warm up and now that I recall since I've already done this before once it gets up to 150 then it starts this countdown so it gets up to 150 then it starts its countdown of two hours and so you click confirm and that'll be your first step so it goes up to 150 two hours then let's say I want to add a step to go up to like what I did with the chicken I did a, a 350 so I did a 350, and I did it until a certain temp, so the chicken was 170. 
So that's how you set that up. So now basically on the next step, it's going to go up to 150 and then it's going to cook that food until the temp is 170. Click confirm. So basically I've just put in a two-step profile, a two-step program for things to do the grill to do you can basically do this in different combinations after it's all done you can either turn the grill off if you click on turn off it switches to keep warm so if you want to finish your cook and then just keep it warm there you go you do your steps and you can add as many steps as you need and then keep warm or turn off click save and that profile is saved um, you want to go back click to edit over here but I'm just going to back out of it and there's my test profile. I'll click on edit here. This is how I delete it. If I want to delete it, click on edit on this screen here that shows the profiles, and then I can delete it and confirm. And you can also reorder, so like my chicken one, I'm gonna click on this menu on the, actually this menu on the left, the right side is not allowing me to, to reorder anything. I thought that would let me reorder, but it's not. But anyway, you're able to save as many profiles as you need. I'm going to click on done. We won't worry about that. But basically, that's how you do profiles. Swipe to the left. About GMG just gives you, doesn't give you much. That's the one that doesn't tell you much. It just tells you about the company and such contact information. I don't like that these links, I mean, these uh, mentions of the phone numbers are not a clickable link. I'd like that to be clickable links on the phone numbers to open up phone and make direct calls to Green Mountain if needed. Um, but that's a minor detail. But under grill options, some good stuff here. Um, we have the grill temperature adjustment. You can do some adjustments for your temperature, the food probe adjustments. You can uh, auto revert Wi Fi. Let's click on the question mark. If enabled, the grill will revert to Wi Fi or point to point mode in the event of server or Wi Fi mode failure. If disabled, the grill will continue to attempt. To reconnect indefinitely so that's what you do with auto revert Wi-Fi I'm going to turn that off I don't want mine reverting automatically I'll just fix my Wi-Fi connection lock temp display that mentions that if enabled the grill will show the target temperature when within a narrow range if disabled it would always display the current measured temperature so I have that uh, lock temp display enabled. Um, basically these food probe adjustments, I just clicked on the one under food probe adjustment, the far right zero. And when I click on that it says, the adjusted adjustment setting is used to calibrate your controller for best results. Wait for the temperature to stabilize before performing an adjustment. If your third party temp sensor is 10 degrees above your controller, set the value to plus 10 if it reads 10 degrees below set to minus 10 so basically you can adjust to match your third party controllers which i don't need and i guess you can do the same with your grill temperature adjustment and click on the far left zero there yeah it's the same thing except for, for your grill temp so i'm going to click confirm because i don't want to auto revert my wi-fi um, <clears throat> let's see, app support, you can click on the app support icon, it gives you some tutorials, contact us again. When you click on contact us, it has a uh, phone number I wish was clickable, but uh, it also has a form you can fill out. You can just fill out the form to submit a question to Green Mountain. You go back, grill support, you go in here, you got some docs, and you can also again contact, going back. You have temp settings you can do you can do Fahrenheit or Celsius so you can adjust the Fahrenheit or Celsius to set your grill you can have alert settings on or off you can have multi grill mode multi grill mode is to have uh, if you have more than one Green Mountain grill you can have multi grill mode so that you can connect to multiple grills at the same time um, I don't have multiple grills, so I can't ch test that out, but I'll just say for you who are, uh, you know, if you have multiple Green Mountain grills, you'll have to play with that. <laughs> um, there's also the update grill option. You click on that and you can update your grill. The server mode, I'm going to go into that now for the first time with you all. 
Um, this is supposed to connect me to Green Mountain server so that I can uh, control my grill through Green Mountain server. Okay, so basically what happens is after you click on server mode, it pops up a screen, shows your current Wi-Fi connection information, and mentions that the server mode extends the availability of your connection to the grill. And you click connect, and once you click connect, you're in server mode. So now basically I could be away from home controlling the grill. So I'm in server mode. I'm going to go back to the first screen. And basically all I get is a refresh up here in the upper, upper left. I click on refresh. It says the grill has not connected to our servers. So apparently the grill is not yet connected to their servers. I'm going to click on power and see what happens. Okay, so it's unable to connect at this time to their server, or it's not connected yet, for whatever reason. I'm going to click on leave server, switch to Wi-Fi, confirm, and okay, so it says that if the LED is still lit on the control panel, you may need to reset. Okay. So, let's see if I can control the grill now. I'm trying to connect to it in my local Wi-Fi mode, and it connected again. So, so the grill is in Wi-Fi mode again. Apparently, my attempt to get into server mode didn't work out. So, uh, not sure if that's necessarily working as well as we wanted to. I'm going to try it one more time. So I'll bring you back when I, after I try and connect again in server mode. All right, I'll just try it again to connect in server mode. Um, I'm not seeing any change on my LEDs on the grill. I'm going to try and see if I can con power the grill up again. All right, now this time it worked. My grill's turned on. I just turned my grill on through server mode. So although server mode didn't work on the first try, it worked on the second, I guess, before you leave home. If you're going to set your grill server mode, you just want to try again, you know, make sure that it connects and works. Um, I click the refresh. It shows the refresh. I'm going to turn the grill off. I think my low pellet alarm is going off. So I'm turning the grill off. I'm getting out of server mode, switching back to Wi-Fi mode, sorry for the loud noise. Um, I'm going to have to end the review here, I guess put some more pellets in the grill. But basically we've gone through everything and if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.